Today we will be testing four brand new surfboards from Pizel. Right here we have the Radius, we have a Shadow, we have a Red Tiger, and we have a Fizzy Pop, which is kind of a secret surfboard. And I don't even know if Pizel wants people to know about it, but we're gonna test it today and break it all down for you guys. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, be sure you turn on notifications. Okay, so these boards will be based on a one to 30 point scale just off of their speed, their paddle power, and their handling. So the speed will be based off of how fast the board is, obviously, and how it handles using that speed into bottom turns and turns and maneuvers and stuff. The paddle power is obvious, how good it paddles, if there's any resistance, and how it feels paddling. The handling of the surfboard will be based off of how it feels under your feet, is it squirrely or is it drivey, how it handles chop, and how much force and power you can put into it. We are about to head down to the beach to Rocky Point and test all these surfboards out. All right, we just came down to Rocky Point. Rocky Rights is kind of going off. There's three guys out. Long point break, kind of windy. Honestly, I think it's probably one of the best times ever to try a bunch of surfboards because there's lots of waves, no one out, and it's like a point break, so we'll definitely be doing more than a couple turns on a wave, which is where you really get to feel out a surfboard. First, I will be using a Red Tiger. Oops. That's good. Fizzy Pop. Clearly hates the Red Tiger. But, yeah. I think I said Red Tiger in the intro. Or White Tiger, there's two. This is the more high performance one. It stayed up for kind of a long time now. <laughs> Longer than I was expecting. Crack the rail. Red Tiger, up first. One to 30 on the point scale. So, I've used this board before, but we're gonna do a little refresher. It's brand new, a couple times used. Tiger, the consensus, the conclusion of this surfboard. We're gonna start with paddle power. I will give it an eight. The speed of the surfboard, I will also give an eight. And the handling, I will also give it an eight. So eights across the board. And I forgot to give you guys the dimensions of the surfboard. They are, it's a 5.9, which is about one to two inches smaller than what I would typically ride. And it's 28 liters, so it's a little smaller. Hence why the paddle power did not get a 10. Because if this was a 510 or a 511, I'm sure it would have got a 10. The handling feels amazing, very stuck to my feet. But these waves are a little big in size for this particular surfboard. So if I ride this in maybe less powerful waves, like I would say California, Huntington, Newport, or something like that, I think the handling would be more around a 10. The speed, eight, very great surfboard. Super good surfboard, I highly recommend. Eights across the board, eight out of 10, that's really good. So, what is that, 16, that is 24. 24 out of 30, this board receives. Oh, well, honestly, maybe we'll give it like a, you know, 26 out of 30. 24 and we'll just throw in two bonus points for it. So 26 out of 30, very, very phenomenal surfboard. For reference, a 10 out of 10 surfboard would be the breadstick. We have a full video on that board that we can reference in the link. And there is a link in that link of that video. <laughs> if you'd like to purchase that board, you can totally go get it. So let's try, let's see what's up next. I didn't realize this might actually be kind of an exhausting day for me because the current's ripping and when I come in I gotta run all the way back up to the point and wax all these new surfboards. Or me, right? 
I'm just kidding. So up next we have the shadow. You can leave that upside down. This shadow is a mystery of dimensions. So I think it's a 510 and it should be around 29 liters. So I have very high hopes for the surfboard. It's definitely one of my favorite surfboards of all time from Pizel. This is a new type of blank called a lamina. I don't know if you can really see it in there. There's like this strange core. So it's this epoxy kind of trippy thing. But we're gonna go test it out. See how it goes. You like these fins? Huh? You like these fins? <laughs> Yeah. Hey. hey, we're doing board Here, testing today. Board testing. Every board gets a 30. <laughs> the Red Tiger received a 26. Wow, sick. That's your favorite lately though. It's hard to, yeah. so it could only be downhill from there. No, this is actually my favorite, Shadow. Not to mention that's an amazing paint job. The Red Tiger with the worst paint job available. The Red Tiger with a <laughs> yellow paint job. The Red yeah, and Yellow. Man, yellow? Tiger. So the Fizzy Pop, Pizel actually doesn't like the name of that board. So, no. He has given us the opportunity to name it through the YouTube comments. So the highest <laughs> like comment will be the new name of the Fizzy Pop. Wrong again. We'll make it happen. It's called the Breadstick. The Breadstick. <laughs> no, this is our second surfboard we get to name. <laughs> you don't even know if you like it yet. <laughs> I will give an honest review. I'll love it. The best board ever, I heard. Best board ever. All right, up next, the shadow. You nervous? <laughs> <laughs> Why, do you keep, Why do you keep asking me if I'm nervous? <laughs> you, you know, like when a food critic walks into like a chef's restaurant. <laughs> this is me using Pizel surfboards, yeah. even though I've used them my entire life. And the people in the kitchen are just like, that bastard. <laughs> 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 It's here to like, eat our food. <laughs> you better like it, <laughs> dude. It's pumping with four guys out. Four guys. At a spot that shall remain unknown. And unknown. The most underground spot on North Shore, maybe. Yeah. Just right below Pipeline in the underground spot. It's there. really close. It's up there with the most crowded places. as Pipe, it's Rocky here. Point. Okay. All right. All right. Good luck. That's a round. Okay, the shadow. So, paddle power, 10 out of 10. No questions asked. I watched Pizel like miss a couple waves, and I was like right there to whip it and paddle into it, and it just easy, poof, straight into it. 10 out of 10. Speed of this surfboard, all I had to do was change my footing and move my front foot back a couple inches flies 10 out of 10 in speed and then handling 10 out of 10 so responsive has so much drive and i know i've just been going right this whole time on my backhand but typically if my board works good on my backhand it is definitely going to work good on my front hand so we don't really got to worry about that part but yeah the shadow 10 out of 10 since i gave the last board an extra two points i'll give this one an extra two points 32 out of 30 the shadow I'm exhausted. Dude, I've been going, I've been going rounds, running up and down the beach because these waves right now, it's crazy. It's these insane north swells. 
that turns it into a proper point break and the current's ripping super hard. So if you end up down there, you do like four turns on a wave, you end up down there, you just come in and have to run all the way back. Oh yeah. Two more to go. Up next, the radius. I've also been using the same exact fins in every surfboard. These are spray painted from Pizel and then those right there. Same exact fin. And I haven't used this board in a long time. I know John Florence designed this one. And I think it's Ivan Florence's favorite surfboard, but I haven't had one in a very long time. So it's a brand new one to me. I have a feeling it's gonna be really hard to top that shadow. That's, that's my favorite board of all time. Unless these next two change my opinion. So we're going out with board number three, the radius. You guys don't forget to click that subscribe button, click the like button and turn on notifications. Also, there will be a surprise at the end of this giveaway video. <laughs> I'm so fried. Also, there will be a surprise giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned, watch till the end, and who knows what you could win. We got the radius. So, paddle power, we'll give it a nine out of 10. Does not paddle as good as that shadow, but that could be because it's more of a traditional shortboard, which means like a little less foam up here, distributed evenly throughout the rest of the surfboard, whereas the shadow has more foam like right under your chest. So, paddle power, nine out of 10. And then we got speed. I will give this a 10 out of 10 speed. It is just as fast as that shadow and you can pick up speed very quickly as soon as you start pumping. And then handling, I will give this surfboard an eight. It could be because I'm not used to it, but just judging by the other surfboard and how locked in I felt on it, don't get me wrong, this board feels insane. I got a sick barrel and it handled in that barrel perfectly. Some really fun turns, rode a lot of sick waves but I will give it, no, we will go nine. We'll give this a nine for handling. So we got a nine, nine, and a 10. 28 out of 30 on the radius. The fizzy <laughs> Okay, this is actually the surfboard that Pizel is going to let us, us being me and you watching, rename this surfboard. So hopefully it works good because looking at it and feeling it, it really could go either way with this kind of big thumb tail. Thumb, the thumb, the thumbus. Uh, that could be the name of the surfboard, the thumbus. Or it could be the fizzy bubbly from Zohan. Uh, other than that, I don't know much about the surfboard except its dimensions. It is a 510. 28 liters and I will not get into the rest, but I'm really excited to try it. Cool paint job, found some white Quicksilver stickers and 
it's been a great day so i hope you guys are enjoying this video if you are leave a comment like this video or actually comment what you would like to name this surfboard paizel does not like the name so we have the honor in naming it together so the highest like comment of the name of the surfboard will be the new name of the fizzy pop <laughs> We go tens across the board for the fizzy pop. 10 for paddle power, 10 for speed, 10 for handling. This board works insane. I think I like it just as much as the shadow. So that's my rankings. What I really liked about this surfboard was you would go from having, as soon as you put as much weight as you wanted on the bottom turn, like the drive and everything, you'd come straight up to the top and it would just hold like it was holding on the bottom turn, whereas a lot of times you get to the top and hit the lip and you kind of get all squirrely with some of the surfboards. This thing held, felt flicky, powerful, drivey, like all at the same time. It's an insane surfboard. I was very, very skeptical picking it up and feeling it with this giant tail. And honestly, I think this might be my new go-to between this and the shadow and the breadstick. So yeah, stay tuned for the secret surprise giveaway. At the end of this video, I hope you're liking the video. Like and subscribe. So tens across the board for the Fizzy Pop, which gives it a total of 30 out of 30 points. Now it is time to rank these surfboards from fourth place to first place. Coming in in fourth place with a score of eight for speed, eight for paddle power, and eight for handling. With a total score of 24, and we gave it a bonus two points because if this board was in California, it probably would work way better in smaller waves. For a total of 26, fourth place, the Red Tiger. Highly recommend. The board coming in at third place is the Radius. With its scores being a nine for paddle power, 10 for speed, and an eight for handling. Total comes out to 27 out of 30. So third place, the Radius, amazing surfboard. It actually won Stab in the Dark. And coming in second place is the Fizzy Pop with tens across the board. 10 for speed, 10 for paddle power, and 10 for handling. This board we also get to change the name through the YouTube comments. So the highest liked YouTube comment, that name is gonna go right there. Whatever that comment is, for this surfboard, we get to rename. So leave a comment of what you'd like to name this surfboard, and this might be one of my new go-to surfboards. And coming in first place, we have the Shadow. With 10s across the board, 10 for speed, 10 for paddle power, 10 for handling, and we gave it an extra two because it is just such a good surfboard with a total of 32 points out of 30. And for our super secret giveaway that we were talking about in the beginning of this video, we will be giving away the top five comments a free This Is Living hoodie. So not only will the first comment, top like comment, get to rename the Fizzy Pop, but five of you up there will get a free hoodie. And I will reach out to you through the comments or Instagram. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys like videos like this. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and it's time to take all these boards on a surf trip.